To get a crisp, flat surface on the face of your stock, you'll want to use either a hand plane or a jointer. Jointers are an easier alternative to hand planes, but the most frustrating limitations to these machines are the cut width capacity. My jointer is capable of doing a total width of six inches. So generally I won't buy boards that are wider than about five and a half inches. Every once in a while though, I get a board with a slight crook that brings it at or slightly over my six inch limit. To get around that, go ahead and open your width up as wide as you can and run your board through. Now that I've made a three thirty seconds inch pass, you can see this little ridge that was created. They make magnetic strips that you can buy in a roll. I'll cut a piece the length of my infeed table and add a small piece of double-sided tape on the end. After flipping the board over so that the ridge is against the fence, I'll run it through again. As you can see, I've jointed a board that is wider than my table width, and it only took a long refrigerator magnet to act as a surface spacer to do it, which I store on the fence so I don't lose it. If you're interested in this inexpensive magnetic tape, I have a link pinned in the comments. Sub and follow for more bite-sized tips. Keep making things.